Connecting your Samsung wireless laser printer to your wireless network is fast and easy. In this video, we'll show you how to install the driver on your PC and connect to a wireless network. First, make sure your wireless router is enabled. You should be able to see your network if you can scan for it through your computer's network settings. Next, make sure your printer is connected to your computer via the included USB cable and turned on. Next, insert the driver CD that came with your computer and select Setup from the Auto Run prompt that pops up. If you don't see a pop-up, you can go to My Computer and double-click on your CD drive to begin setup. Select the option that says Wireless Setting and Installation. Take a moment to read over the license agreement. You must accept the terms before clicking Next. In the next step, you can choose to transmit anonymous usage information to Samsung. This will help us troubleshoot our products and is completely optional. Make your selection and hit Next. Here you will be prompted to set up your network manually or via your router's WPS key. If you would like to set your printer up via your router's WPS button, please see our video titled Setting Up Your Wireless Printer Via WPS. Select to configure the wireless settings manually and hit Next. Setup will search for a list of available networks. You should see your network in the list, but if not, you can also choose Advanced Settings and enter your information manually. Select your network, and if you have a secure, password-protected network, you will be prompted to enter your password. For WEP networks, you will need to choose whether it's an open system or one that uses a pre-shared key. If you have a WEP network, please refer to your router's manual to determine which option to select. For more common WPA or WPA2 networks, you will just need to type in your password, confirm it in the second field, and hit Next. You will see a confirmation screen showing you the selected network and configuration options. If you would like to enter a static IP address for your printer, select Change TCP slash IP and follow the instructions on the screen. Otherwise, hit Next, and you will see a final screen prompting you to ensure your printer is not plugged into your router via a network cable. Hit Next and wait for the printer to connect to the network. If successful, you will see the Wireless Network Setup Complete screen. If you would like to set your printer up for Wi-Fi Direct, please see our video titled Enabling Wi-Fi Direct on your printer. Otherwise, hit Next to continue. You will now be prompted to disconnect the USB cable connecting your printer to your computer. Do this and hit Next, and Setup will search to find your printer on the network. Please wait patiently, as this may take a few minutes. When you see your printer appear, install the rest of the drivers and software. You can choose which software to install and where to install it, but we recommend leaving the default options and install path. If you want, you can choose to name your printer for easy identification if you've got multiple printers on the network. Hit Next, and if you are connected to the Internet, you can choose to let Setup search for the most up-to-date drivers and software available. If not, you can choose to skip this step and update your drivers later at your convenience. Please wait patiently, as Setup may take several minutes to complete. Depending on your security settings, Windows may ask you to verify installing the drivers. Hit Yes to allow Windows to install the drivers. When finished, you can print a test page to confirm proper setup. Once the test page is printed, confirm by hitting Yes and Finish to complete setup. Congratulations, your wireless printer is now connected to your wireless network.